All eyes on this ACC Atlantic showdown tonight. The top spot in the table in the balance between two top 10 teams. It's time for number four Wake Forest and number seven Syracuse. And it's a, it's a difficult road, college soccer, it's a short season. Johnson with fancy skill, the cross. Alfin taps it down almost in the net. Syracuse players calling for it. But J.C. Griggs doesn't budge. Labeled back on it to Apoku's feet. Early pressure from Syracuse on the goal line. Apoku to Johnson, he's on sides, chance in the box, and that's a penalty. Apoku cuts a ball to Johnson. Johnson goes to cut it inside and gets clipped. That's Mponsa getting his left ankle. Two players colliding. Kachevsky's first penalty. A massive chance for Syracuse with its dominant defense to go ahead early. Kachevsky converts! A missile to the bottom left corner. Trey Alfin can't touch it. This ball's hit with pace, even as Alfin guesses right. It's hit with enough pace that it, and far enough out of his reach that it gets by him. My question for you, Dean, does Syracuse sit back and rest for a second, or does Ian McIntyre's squad go for a second? Baba Niang on goal, and Shealy makes a diving stop to his right. Ballette highlighted in the midweek by head coach Bobby Muse for his constant work rate. Coach says something that's, you barely see it with young players. Mitchell running onto it towards the goal, just wide left. Rolled Mitchell is a handful. He in battling for this ball, staying with it, running through it, getting his last touch on it just a little bit wide. And find him and, you know, that, that cuts out, you know, the source of service to, to a very dangerous player, an important person in their attack. Forbes plays it forward. Mitchell has a chance. Schoberg there, the shot. Stopped. Shealy falls down. Mitchell right on the back line. And so Jelani Forbes playing a wonderful ball over the top that just curls in behind Booster Schoberg. That's the other way to sort of get to it. If you can't find his feet, then maybe you play balls in behind. Christian Curdy plays it in, looking for Maselli, and Ponza heads it in. It's an own goal. A weight mistake turns into an own goal. And Ponza headed it away from Trace Alfin. Caleb lined up for the service. A little dink towards the post. Looks like that was Christian Curdy who had the chance to clip on Baba Niang, who's playing out wide left in this second half. Vlad Wallet, Wake's starting left side winger, left the game in the middle of the first half. Here's a chance for Wake. Roald Mitchell sends it into Russell Shealy. Still on for the Deeks. Sears, lefty, deflected twice. Kessler over it, right at Russell Shealy. Hernandez pushing his men forward. Service in with 10 seconds to go. It falls towards the far post. Sheely falls on top of it. And the clock runs down. Syracuse, the better of the two top 10 teams today. The Orange take down Wake Forest 2 to nothing and take the top of the ACC Atlantic.